Florida friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing? We are here at uh, Bill Stiegel's place, Phoenix Reptiles. And uh, it's a blessing, a blessing. Oh, there you go. Stiegel right there. Bill Stiegel. <laughs> We're filming. Hallelujah. <laughs> We, we are going to go down to Bill's snake room. Here on the barbecue, we got Khalil Aitani here. We got Focus Cube Habitus. We got Morph Mixology. We got Mingy's Reptiles. We got a whole crew of folks up here. What? Focus Cube Habitats? Habitudes. You Habitudes. said Habitus. Habitudes? You absolutely said Habitus. Well, it's habitudes. on video, so we can actually figure it out. But. Yeah, we'll look it back later. Did I say Habitats or hab, hab, Habitudes? Comment down below. <laughs> this, Bill, Bill has been gracious enough to invite many, many of us into his home for a nice barbecue. We've got Marshall Menendez out there, MJ, Adler. Um, the whole Canova crew is here, Rice Reptiles. It's dark. I'm, I'm sorry. Come on, party people, make some noise! Yeah, see, we're having a little party, and Bill's got some amazing snakes down here. I'm sorry, it's gonna be dark for a minute. I gotta make the walk through the backyard down to the snake facility. We got Robin Marklin from Redline here. We got Antoine Hood, High Desert Pythons, um, Rice Family Reptiles. Uh, I'm stepping in mud. It's dark for you guys, but don't worry. That some beautiful beautiful snakes that Bill's raising up and not just beautiful in uh, I'm going to the wrong part of the house uh, not just beautiful in their look coloration a nice variety of species but also temperament which is something that is not as common like I was going through the snake room earlier and I was checking out like basically going through, through enclosure through enclosure and it was just Amazing how many different things. Rice family reptiles. Woo and uh, it was just incredible that every single snake had such a great temperament and attitude. Look, it's Lucas. What's going on? Hey, it's oh, Brian. Look at everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> we're filming an uncut video. What's up? This is Patreon. Yeah, I know. I recognize that. Oh, yeah, you were here. <laughs> I was, yeah, I know. I know things and stuff. So we're, we're coming into, oh, we got, it was packed in here right now. We're going to check out some of the little snakes. I'm going to say, it's a small room, man. i got to pop out so that people can get a look. They're amazing. Look at the blues. He's got those really dark ones on. We're coming in, coming in. This is very unusual in this, this coloration. Oh, that's the one right there. That's the one I was looking for right there. Wow. Super neat. That was so red. Yeah, it's still super brick red. This is the man of the hour right here, Mr. Bill Stiegel. Hey, Brian. Thank you. Reptiles. Thank you for coming, my friend. Yeah, thanks for thanks for inviting all of us into your wonderful home. Of course. Can of course. you tell us a little bit about your work with these guys? And well, um, I've been you know working with and breeding chondros for over a decade now, and um, they're still they're they're a challenge. They're fun. They're unpredictable, and um, you know just. It, it never gets old. I guess you could say that with everything you're passionate about, but these these never get old. And uh, the clutch that we're looking at right now is a really probably the most um, highly anticipated clutch I've ever produced. The sire is an animal that produced the sickness, which was one of the most melanistic green trees ever produced. And the dam is a blue female um, whose grandfather was a legendary animal called Blue Deuce. So I think these things have they have the most potential of anything I've ever produced. So now these uh, these animals, I, I got to handle a couple of them earlier, and as far as green tree pythons go, they're I mean, there's there's what I understand is a misnomer out there about the handleability of green tree pythons and chondros in general. Um, and and it's something that's not. It's just like how much did you work with these animals to get them as handleable as they as they have been for me? I never work with them. The, these have the temperament because they're captive bred. These have the temperament of ball pythons, essentially the same temperament. Um, and it's a big difference. The the imported stuff is very defensive, as you can imagine. It would be plucked from, you know, the the rainforest of Indonesia. These things have been. Um, hatched in captivity and there's just no reason for them to be defensive so they're just inquisitive and and they're they're docile docile by nature and there's no reason not to handle them once they get to be about this size when they're much smaller than this then they can be really fragile their tails if you can see the tail Brian how how small and thin it is 
Um, it's just, it's like tissue paper, so. You just, you just want to be really careful when, like, when the tail is about to come off, like, you're not, you're not pulling or putting any weight on it. Or. Yeah, that's why removable perches are so important, you know, with this species in particular, because you can take them out and you can just let them come off at their leisure. Justin, look at the blue and the lateral. You see the blue and the sides coming in already? Yes. See that? I didn't even notice that till until we took them off. If they're small little scales, you almost can't see it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm convinced it's so that you don't gorgeous. see that <laughs> he's, he's just 24-7, like man. He's like that 24-7. Yeah, I'll be What do you have to say about Antoine? These are awesome. Summer? Most amazing snakes in the world. Seriously. I was, been... I was saying earlier how, like, it's crazy that you can like feel so amazing about holding a stick in your hand that just has a snake on it, but it still feels so surreal. I hope that's a wide angle lens or are you up my nose? <laughs> <laughs> it was wide until you said something. <laughs> it's because they still almost even, I've seen so many of them, but they still don't seem real a lot of times. Mm -hmm. they, they, they seem fake. So, so the perching pattern that they normally do, is there a technical name for that, for the way that they perch like that? Is there like a certain name for that pattern? Like this one right here, like the standard way they normally perch like that. Is that's just, for no, that's just that's just green tree. Uh, that's just green tree. You should definitely have a name for it. Green tree perching. It's the Antoine. Yeah. It's, it's the Antoine. It's the Antoine perch. It's okay, the Antoine perch. I like it. <laughs> what, what, what does somebody this size eat? Say that one more time, Sebastian. What 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 size food would this eat? Small fuzzy mice. But fuzzy mice already. Fuzzy mice, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and this one, uh, same, maybe a little bit larger fuzzy mice, and then that one, upper mice. Yeah. And, a, and a baby eats what? Like a hatchling eats what? If, if you're lucky, a day old pink, you know, a red, you know, a day old pink. Some of them will just eat the heads for a few meals and then get them a pink. Ooh, I'm recording, that's nice. Yeah? Every now and then you look down at that screen and the red dot's not on, and you're just like, oh man, did that happen? <laughs> it's not one of those times. <laughs> just quit looking at the ball pythons. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help what's, the, what's the background on this one, Bill? It's oh, a sickness baby. It is. Yeah, okay. that was um, sickness bred to a blue cyclops locality type. So. so sickness, just for people that are watching that maybe don't know, sickness is not a morph, it's a particular animal. So. Sickness is the name of an animal that was one of the most melanistic green trees ever produced. I produced him seven years ago, and he sired one clutch before I lost him, unfortunately, to a renal tumor. Um, but his genes live on, you know, in animals like that, so... I uh, feel blessed to have him, and if his sister's right behind you, and I've got several other males that uh, are going to are going to carry it on. So, can you tell me about this animal? Uh, okay, so that uh, animal was produced. The sire is the father to the sickness, okay. and the mother is a blue female. You talking about this guy right here? Oh, I can't yeah. hold it steady with my hand like that. Yeah, no, that's what we're talking about. I think this is going to be a super blue. Yeah. So what does that mean? Like so super blue just means normally what they call a true blue, um, a blue lineage will go from red to green and then over a few years turn blue. That's what most of them do. A super blue goes straight from red to blue, no green face. Wow, that's cool. So I think that's what this is. That's amazing. Hmm. So we'll, we'll see. We'll know, we'll know in a few months. Is that a male or a female? How was your experience? Uh, don't know. These Sorry. haven't been haven't been sexed. I have the sheds. Yeah. Waiting. waiting on the technology. No, well, the technology's been around five years. Waiting on that. Do you have to send the sheds in? I would love to send the sheds in. They're, they seem to be down okay. with the technology at the moment. Yeah. And you call them pop six? Too, no. Too not at this age. <laughs> or yeah, you'll, uh, you could do it. I could sex it easy, but you'll call us um, tail kinkage. They're so, 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 so fragile. fragile. Yeah, I mean, you look at the tail right there. It's like tissue paper. So much. Like, yeah. Yeah. This animal is incredible. Yeah. 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 How high up is the Clo Lake? It's, you know, it's pretty high. It's pretty high. You still end up touching it. You know, we've been touching it too much. Yeah. I mean, even at this age, it, I, I wouldn't sex this. It isn't worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. What about probing? Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, that's, that's the only way. You still have to hold the tail really hard. You have to hold the tail. Yeah. 
yeah, there's, it's just not worth the risk. Is exactly what you said. There's just there's no reason. Wait it out. Just wait it out. Gotta be patient. Yeah. It's like a ball it's python. Tucked in right there. Yeah, yeah. It's because that's their. Because you're around, they're turning into ball pythons. That's their nature. <laughs> that's, their, that's their nature. They're just docile and shy. They're but. the ball pythons of the sky. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> ball pythons of the sky. <laughs> Sure. You can take them, take them off or whatever. What's the ball python of the water? I don't know. Good question. Elephant trunks. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> so just amazing animals. And Bill's also got some Borneo babies out there. Um, plenty of ball pythons that he's breeding, and just phenomenal. I just want to take a moment to share um, the amazingness that Bill's working with over here. And it's just super cool. And I mean, this snake right here. I'm pretty sure I can't afford it right now, or even if it's for sale or not. But if it if either of those things came into alignment, that's an incredible snake. snake right there. This is this is my favorite snake that I've seen. Is that the one you this like? Yeah, the collection? Here. Yeah. It's the favorite one that I produced this year. <laughs> Am I grabbing real quick? Sure. Before I'm, I always think that little grip I've got. <laughs> and um, I'm really excited to see where this one goes. This, <laughs> yeah. this one could be really mellow. Yeah, <laughs> it's so dark. All right, let's go into the other routine here. I know. Bill, do you have anything you want to say to our audience before I... Here. Oh, I just want to say thank you, um, you know, again, thank you, Brian, for coming and, and helping me share these things I'm so passionate about and, and hopefully destroying some myths about them being bitey and temperamental and defensive and tearing your face off because they don't have to be that way. So, uh, thanks for having us. Of course. All right, folks. Well, um, link down in the description if you want to see more about what Bill's doing over here at Phoenix Reptiles. Really cool guy, really cool animals, and like I said, I'm, I'm super impressed with how easily and handleable his snakes are, and I was very surprised to hear him say that he didn't do any kind of temperament working, like didn't didn't like work with them at all, just kind of let them be hatched and just do their thing, and they just like that. Just <laughs> sorry, there's a bunch of handsome no, gentlemen. Wait, over you here. Just, We're you watching just, the pro work. Yeah, you're just coming into our space. What oh, sorry, doing, sorry. I was just, what do you do? I, I got you distracted. You guys distracted me. I'm, I'm walking away now. No, <laughs> we love you, Brian. I love you guys too. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I hope you enjoyed the video. Lots of more cool stuff coming from our Texas trip on this channel. Um, so stay subscribed. Drop a like button if you want to see these videos do well. And we'll see you on the next one. Aloha.